was a five-star quarterback from the class of 2010, but bounced from BYU to Kansas, and now Miami is the third stop for Jake Heaps, and he'll be competing for the Canes' starting job with projected starter Ryan Williams out with a torn ACL. Hey, everybody, Bonnie Bernstein, welcome into our Campus Insider Studio, and let's say hello now to Gary Furman, publisher for Canesport.com. Gary, you just spoke with Heaps. What resonated most about your conversation? Well, just how confident he is, how well-spoken he is, how intelligent that he obviously is. And if there's a kid that's going to do what he's trying to do, which is walk onto a team like the Miami Hurricanes at the end of June and emerge as the starting quarterback by the beginning of September, uh, it seems to me like this is a kid with the, with the background and the pedigree to have a chance to do that. Help me out here. This was a kid who was considered one of the top quarterbacks just a few years ago. He loses his starting job at BYU. He loses his starting job at Kansas. Yet you say he's got a good shot of getting the Miami job. Why do you think that is? Well, because Miami is in such dire straits at, at quarterback, Bonnie. I mean, it really is the perfect storm. You, know, you had Stephen Morris graduate, uh, Ryan Williams, who... Nobody was projecting to be the next program changer by any stretch of the imagination. Goes down at the end of spring practice, and now you're left with a redshirt freshman whose um, calling card was that he was suspended for off-the-field transgressions at the bowl game in Kevin Olson. And you have two true freshmen coming in, um, much heralded true freshmen in, in Brad Kaya and Malik Rozier, but nevertheless true freshmen who have never stepped foot on a college practice field, much less than a ball game. So for a program like Miami, this is about as bad as it gets at the quarterback position. And that's why Jake Heaps deciding to transfer there, to me, is such a big development. Well, that's not really a, a strong testament toward his talents as much as it is. They can't seem to find a quarterback down in Miami. But, you know, based on the systems that he was in prior to getting to Coral Gables and the talent that he'll have around him, how do you see Heaps acclimating to the new system? Well, you know, yeah, I mean, you're right. We weren't really speaking to his abilities. But, um, you know, let's be honest. I don't think this is the second coming of Dan Marino to Miami. However, uh, Jake Heaps is a kid who had 48 balls dropped last year at Kansas. He was sacked about 28 times and was running for his life, obviously, um, numerous other occasions, and didn't really have that talent around him at Kansas that he will have at Miami. At Miami, he has an established receiver core, one of the best receiver cores in America, most likely. He's got an established tight end that he could throw the ball to. He's got a, a, a franchise running back in, in Duke Johnson and a couple other quality running backs. He's got an offensive line that's got some decent playing experience on it that should be better than what he had in Kansas. So yes, a lot more tools around him, Bonnie, at Miami than what he had in Kansas. And I think that's what gives Jake a chance to flourish more in his fifth year than he has in his previous stops. Jake Heaps graduates from Kansas this month. He will be able to play immediately in his last year of eligibility. Gary Furman from Canesports.com. Thanks so much for the insight, Gary. Anytime, Bonnie.